Hey everyone, it's Summer from Canova here and I am so excited because today we are getting a huge delivery of cages in from Focused Cubed Habitats and we are going to deck out our special projects room. Can't wait to get them in and get them all set up. Let's go. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're starting with. We had all of those black and white built-in shelves removed and replaced with a cabinet base that we'll be able to use for storage. And the cages are going to sit on top of that. And then once we get all of those cages in, we are going to get rid of all these shelves and miscellaneous cages and racks and stuff. And everything's gonna be really nice and cohesive, but there's still a little bit of work to do. But after today, we should be rocking and rolling. So yeah, let's go get those cages. All right, so Steven and Ashley from Focused Cubed are here and we are unloading the truck. We got some awesome cages in there, ready to take them inside. All right, so we got all the cages in. Now we're gonna unwrap them and then start to set them up. All the cages are in and you guys, it looks amazing. I'm gonna let Steven give us a rundown of some of the features so you guys can get an idea for what you can expect as we get these built out and filled up with animals down the line. Okay, so the majority of these units are gonna be uh, the two by two by twos. Uh, so those are two foot cubes. Those along with the three by two by twos at the bottom, they all feature kind of similar components. So they all have dual plant clamps in them in the ceiling. So those are the little polycarbonate plant mounts up top. You're gonna have a 40 watt heat panel in these 24 inch units, and you've got an 80 watt heat panel in the three foot unit. They each have probe cord covers, so there's no chance for the animal to decide to use its you know, light cord or its probe cord as a perch. Triple polycarbonate perch mounts. Yeah, these are actually clear polycarbonate mounts. So these perches are actually actual carbon fiber, uh, and they just, lift straight off those tees so they're super easy to use it's not like you're trying to you know spin something off and bring it out and you're banging it around they go on and off super easy this is a 12 millimeter 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter combo so that's the different sizes they can be kind of rearranged some snakes have preferences different size animals like different size perches you can kind of put them wherever you want but another cool feature of this thing besides kind of like our static k logo venting in the back the dimmable led there We've also got adjustable front intake vents. So this unit literally slides up and down. Uh, you can have it completely closed. You can just crack it open or you can go wide open and you just lock it down with your little knob there. So essentially the three footers, the same idea. It's just got double the intake vent. So same thing going on, the perches in it, they're actually a 15, 15, 20 combo. So typically larger animals go in these, uh, females. So they're, they're usually a little bigger. So they like a slightly larger perch. Every snake has its own preference. So once again, you can kind of, you know, rearrange them as you see fit, but these things are, they're decked. They're super, super awesome. Let's take a look over here at this beautiful cage. This is going to be for the Black Dragon Blue. Mm -hmm. So tell us what's going on in here. I'm so excited about this one. Well, we will jump in here first. Our hot side, so three lights. So we're gonna have our two 80 watt deep heats and we actually have a 50 watt halogen for our basking area. So we did a bunch of different testing with different lighting and heating element combos to try and get that, you know, magic 120-ish uh, basking temp there. We wanted to kind of fall off naturally. So we didn't use a ton of halogens. We actually use more deep heats since they don't emit any light. Your lizard can bask and you're not gonna sit there and, you know, blind the poor girl to death. The ceiling has also got uh, the UVB, so this is a 48 inch UVB. It's a 14% dragon, 14% because we've got the screen on it. So you do lose a little bit of efficiency through the screen. Uh, and in front of that, we've got the Jungle Dawn as well from Arcadia. So if you just need a little additional light, if you ended up with like a, a planted setup, that's gonna help a ton too. So all the cords are covered in it all the same. So all these monitors, they love to scrabble and climb and get into whatever they can. So we're trying to keep that down. So the shelf is uh, super cool too, because it's actually got a like a basking platform. So instead of having to be laying on one narrow shelf in one exact spot, 
the animal could kind of arrange itself, you know, further from the UVB, closer to the UVB, closer and further from the heat if need be. It's uh, actually got a set of rear drains, so this is going to be a water monitor in here. They like to get wet, they like to climb on stuff, and you don't want a bunch of stagnant water sitting back there. So wet animal drains, shelf drains too. Goes back into the substrate on the floor, super easy. And you've got shelf access too. So this is a lizard ladder. So to get from the floor, uh, this guy's not having to climb the wall and try and figure out how to get up there. This is a little ladder. Animal can climb up here and it can also, since I've got part of it blocked off here, can also act as like a hide back there. So she can go back there, hide and hang out and still be warm since this is like gonna be the hotter side of the enclosure. Now, onto the other side. We've got yet another lizard ladder. So in the back of this thing, you can't tell. Behind this is actually a set of large intake vents. So what's gonna happen is, is you've got a 120 watt heat panel here. It's gonna heat your cool side. We've just got a little tub in there, so we'll fill it with some water and you know, that monitor can splash around in there. Uh, she can actually climb this ladder here to get back on the shelf, or she could just kind of hang out on it near the heat panel and kind of warm up a hair. And also having the heat panel over here kind of keeps the water warm too, because sometimes they like to sleep and hang out in the water a little more than maybe they should, and that'll keep them a little warmer so they're not hanging out in you know, room temperature water all day. But it's also got the final probe cord cover in there so you can modulate uh, heat panel temps, pretty much everything. That thing is, it's cool. That is amazing. I love the thought and detail that went into all of these enclosures and all of these features. We had such a blast. I'm sure I annoyed them going back and forth constantly asking for different things, but it was a really fun process to figure out what exactly we needed and wanted and for them to help us bring it all to fruition. I can't wait to keep updating you guys on the status of this room as we deck out these cages and fill them up with animals. But in the meantime, Steven, where can we find you? We are pretty much everywhere. You can find us on you know, social media, so you can find us Facebook, uh, Instagram. We have a website. It's going to be uh, focuscubedhabitats.com. Uh, you can message us or email us through there and just let us know what you got going. So we have a, like a bajillion different product offerings from, you know, replacement tops for exoterras to enclosures to, you know, hanger Cambro systems. So we have a, a ton of stuff. So if you got a question, just hit me up. I'm Steven. Uh, my wife is Ash. She's, she's the other. She's here too. She's Hello. the one who does all the work. So <laughs> if you need anything actually done, you definitely want to ask for her, but. All right, well, we will definitely keep you guys updated and we will see you next time in another episode of Netflix. Mm -hmm.